ഹായ് ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ കോഡിംഗ് വിത്ത് ഉള്ളാണശ്ശേരി സോ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ അബൌട്ട് ദ ടി എൽ എം അനാലിസിസ് പോർട്ട് ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഓക്കെ വിത്ത് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഗോയിങ് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് എനി തിയറി റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദിസ് ടി എൽ എം അനാലിസിസ് പോർട്ട് ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് വിൽ ബി ഹാവിങ് എ വെരി ബേസിക് കോഡിംഗ് സെഷൻ ഓൺ ഹൗ ടു ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ദിസ് ടി എൽ എം അനാലിസിസ് പോർട്ട് ഓക്കെ now so let's look at the tlm analysis port so here if you see in this diagram we will be having a producer okay and the producer is will send the sequence item okay and the consumers are here and those consumers will consume this sequence item okay so that is basically what the tlm analysis port implementation here okay so the producer uh, will be having a um analysis port with sequence item and the consumers will be having an um analysis implementation port with sequence item okay and both of them the producer and the consumer will get instantiated in the enb okay and this in enb will gets instantiated in the test and the and will be having a top module where this test where we will run this test okay now if you are correlating this diagram with our uvm uh, topology diagram you can see so let me open the uvm topology here so here if you see uh, we will be having a monitor here and the scoreboard here so the producer is nothing but the monitor and the scoreboard is nothing but the consumer okay so here what monitor will do here is monitor will monitor the interfaces okay it will get the sequence item and that sequence item monitor will send and the scoreboard will consume those sequence items so how that tlm tlm analysis port implementation is actually coded that is what i am going to show here okay now let's go to the coding session so i have noted down what are the different classes we need to have and a um, one top module which is essentially the top module okay so here one basic sequence item we required so basically we are actually sending the sequence item only if you look at this diagram right we will be sending the sequence item that is a sequence item here so first of all we need to have a basic sequence item okay so now let me let me have that sequence item here okay so now so this is essentially the sequence item so this is basically a pretty basic sequence item with um, um a class name as sequence item there is a i mean we, so this is basically we are actually registering the registering the um um class definition okay to the fact okay that is actually required okay um now this is basically the field okay and then we are just knowing that that's it that is basically the sequence item as i mentioned this is a very basic sequence item okay now now what is next the producer is there so let's let's fill up the um, let's form a template first actually okay and then we will add this analysis port implementation okay so there will be a producer will be there so that is basically our monitor and consumer will be the which is nothing but the scoreboard okay and uh, we'll be having an environment then environment get instanced in the test and uh, and the environment is actually used to connect this producer and the consumer and the test will be there which will instance the environment and top module will where we will run this test okay now okay now let's have the producer template okay so so these are basically uh, um these are basically uvm components okay so the structure will be same the, the template will be same for both so i will just paste the uh, uh the producer code here okay let's forget about this task this i will um, explain later okay so we will be having producer which is the component okay and we will be registering that producer to the factory and we are just knowing that same way we will be having the scoreboard consumer here okay now uh let me paste the template code here okay 
So now for the time being, let me uh, instead of environment, right? I will directly instance both these consumers, both this consumer and the producer in the test. Tube, okay. So it's like essentially the same for now, like since this is a basic example, right? You can instantiate in both producer. So ideally, I mean, in the in the industry, in reality, we will get, we will instantiate both the producer and the consumer in the environment. Okay. But for the time being, and um, since this is a very basic uh, um, um, producer and consum consumer code, we will instance both of them in the test itself. Okay. Now, let's have the test code here. So in what we will do in the test here, we will instantiate both the producer and the consumer in the test. Okay. So I am having, so basically I am having a base test, um, the class name and then register into the factory and then just instance, instancing producer and the consumer and we are just creating them in the build phase. Okay. Now, what is the top module? Okay, now what is the top module? Module top will be just a, a module top instantiation where we'll be having an initial begin block. Okay, run test. So that's it. So basically, we we are now ready. We are now uh, done with the template coding. Okay, we haven't uh, implemented or introduced any of the analysis support implementation, but I just had a very basic template code. Okay, now. <clears throat> Let's start implementing uh, the analysis port. Okay. Now, um, so so uh, so as I told, right, this producer is nothing but the monitor. In the actual monitor code, we'll be actually monitoring the uh, interfaces. Okay, the uh, uh, which connected to the RTL. But for now, what we are doing here is we'll be having a run phase for sure, um, and then we are just instancing. So if you see here, we are just instancing a sequence item. Okay, and then we are just randomizing it okay so that's what we are doing here we are just randomizing it and uh, we are actually printing that okay now what we are now what we are going to achieve here is we are actually sending this item okay from the producer to the consumer okay how we will do that okay so for that we have so as i already mentioned in this uh, in this diagram we will be having a uh, TLM analysis port. So there is a UVM analysis port there in the producer. Okay, so and the UVM, UVM analysis implementation port in the um, consumer. So let me create the UVM analysis. So uh, uh, UVM analysis port here. UVM analysis port. And this is basically a parameterized class. So we have to pass the sequence item. Okay. Now, after that, let's know it here. Okay, let's know the UVM analysis port actually. Okay, so um, so so yeah, just this is basically an instance. So I'm calling it as um, producer analysis port. Okay, now what we can do here is um, producer analysis port equal to new of. Then what are the things we have to pass here? We have to pass a string name here and then we have to pass this which is essentially the um class of i mean the class in producer class name okay now okay now we are new i mean we have created the uh, producer analysis port okay now come to the com consumer same way we create one analysis a a implementation port that is nothing but UVM analysis imp this is also a parameterized class and here we have to pass sequence item and then um, class name also we have to pass. So this is basically a consumer, right? And then we can have this instance, okay? Analysis import, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> now let's know it is same as like how we did for the um, producer. Analysis port equal to new of, Thing name should be same, and they will be having this. Okay. Done. Now we have uh, created uh, an, an analysis port in the producer and an analysis import in the uh, uh, implementation port in the consumer. Now, what we have to do? Now, um, so this analysis, so uh, this CLM port, right? So this will give. So wherever we are actually having the analysis import, right? There will be having. 
a function called task write this is by default will be there so so the task write uh, will be having the sequence item okay let's call it as item okay and the task will be there so what i'm trying to say here is uh, whenever the producer so this is basically the uvm uh, i mean um, inbuilt uh, task actually for this analysis port implementation so there will be a task a right task will be there where we will get the sequence item so whenever producer so so basically what we want we want this item to be sent from producer to the consumer okay so we need the the, the, the this item basically in the right function so here we need this okay sorry so here we need this actually and we'll, we have to get the get the item from producer okay so now <clears throat> what we can so so essentially what we can do is if we can just print uh, this here okay then um consumer okay like that you can print so that we can distinguish both so now we have the right function okay now after this okay now still still we haven't introduced any kind of like the connection between the producer and the consumer okay now uh so once this item dot random is called right after that basically we can have producer analysis port dot write you can cite it okay that's it okay so basically produ producer analysis port is there that will be a dot write call will be there okay so you can, once it called this we have to we have to get that corresponding sequence item here okay so how we will do that that is basically we need the connection okay so that connection will be done in the test or the next hierarchy okay so we'll be having the, in the uvm phases we'll be having a connect phase sorry so we'll be having the connect phase where we will actually implement this um, connection okay so this should be connect phase connect phase and here what we will do it will be a prod dot prod analysis foot dot connect okay now we will be having the um cons dot uh, what is the consumer analysis import will be there that's it now we are done okay so this is basically where we are uh, where we are doing the analysis port implementation like the connection this is very uh, i mean this is this is basically the connection where we are actually implementing the connection between producer and the consumer now <coughs> Now, whenever we throw this, whenever we call this actually this product, product producer analysis port dot write sequence item, then we will get the translation over here. Okay. I think I haven't forgot anything. So yeah, let's run this actually. Now let's run this. Um, go to this here. This is the idea pay cloud, pay cloud and let's paste it here. Okay. And um, yeah, let's save it. We select a simulator let's take one dot two and uh, let's save it let's run it so there is a token so uh, line number 32 So this right method um, producer analysis port uh, okay this right is the okay this is basically not sequence item this is item okay um, number 41 41 uh, 
you can specify for a type parameter is a value a type uh, specific for okay set I, I mean i mentioned test string it should be um shouldn't be a string actually sorry for that okay that is basically the transaction item right so yeah. so now it's compiled clean So here if you see the producer is that here we'll get the print this up in here enable zero so let's make it as enable uh, so let's make item dot enable equal to one okay let's see whether we will get the same um value there also okay That's it. So enable one from producer, consumer also enable one code. These are basically achieved due to due to through, through this analysis support implementation. Okay. Um, thank you. Thanks for watching this video.